So I think Adobe Acrobat is something that we've all kind of come across at one point or another. But today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use Adobe Acrobat like a pro. Let's jump in. So when you first install and open up Adobe Acrobat, you'll see this interface here. And this may be something that you're not familiar with because a lot of times if you just click on a PDF file, which is the file type for Adobe Acrobat, it usually just opens it up. But it'll bring you up to this interface and there's a couple of different options that you can do right within here. So you have all your recent files that are either from your Adobe Cloud or files that you've opened up in here in the past, and you can go to those really quickly. Now up here at the top, there's a button here to create a PDF. Now from here, you could select a file that you want to open up, whether it be an image or a Word file to open up and create a PDF. You could also open up multiple files to combine them into a PDF. Most of the times when I'm using Adobe Acrobat is because I'm working with a PDF that already exists. So we're going to go that route. We're going to go over to menu and we're going to open up a file. And let's just open up the script for this one. We're going to open this up. Now, this is probably the interface that you may be familiar with. Now, when you open this up, this is a PDF that is, is locked and set the way that it is. But if you do want to be able to edit it, if it doesn't already give you those options built into there, then all you want to do is go over to the side and go click on Edit PDF. And then it's going to ask you a couple of questions, what you want to do. Let's say I want to edit the text. And now when I click on this text, it's going to allow me to edit that text. And it sees this as one giant block of text here. And then on the next page, it's another block of text. And then over here is another block of text. And you can see you could resize this and shrink down the whole thing. You know, you could change the margins. You could do all the things like that as a block of text. Or you can go in here and, you know, eliminate whole pieces. You could change that. Thanks for watching this video. Maybe I want to take and bold this so we can make that bold or I could change the, the size of it. All of those things are built right in there to be able to edit that. And then once it is the way you want, you just go up here, click on the little disk to save that, and it'll save it to your existing file that you would open. You could also save it to the cloud if you want to do that. And then you could be able to print it from here if you wish. Now let's go back out to all tools and let's add a few different things. One of the things that I find most useful when using Adobe is this fill and sign. So you can be able to, if there's something that you need to sign, you could be able to add your signature in here. And so I already have one added, but you could add like your initials, Let's say I want to go in here and you can either type that or you could draw. You could do the same thing for your initials and you go, I'll just add my initials here, and go apply. And now whenever I need to initial that, I could just put that. If I need to sign that, I can drag that over and be able to sign that. So that's one of the functionalities I find I'm using PDFs a lot for is when somebody sends me a document, I need to open it up, I need to sign that, I need to initial it. You can also within here be able to add a text box if you need to add like the date, today date, right? You can add those things right in there. So that's really a powerful tool. Now along the lines with the signature is you can also request an e-signature. Once you click on that, it takes you here and you could go email and name. If you wanna send it to somebody that they need to send that and it'll prepare the document for them and give them a box and then they can send it and be able to sign it that way. And then it sends it back to you and it's already signed and ready to go. So that way they don't have to print it out. They don't have to, you know, try to find a you know pen and then scan it back in and do all of that. You could just ask them to e-sign that for you, which I think that's a great feature. The other thing too, is we could take this document if we wanted, click on edit PDF and you could add images now. So you could choose an image, Let's say we want this thumbnail, click that down there. I want it smaller, so you resize it. So again, you can move all this around just like you would any other word processing option that way, okay? One of the other functionalities that I really like about this is let's say somebody sent you a PDF. You don't wanna edit it, you don't wanna change it, but you're reviewing it for somebody. You can add comments. So you could select the add comments bar 
And now we could go to a section right here and you click on that. And now I can add a comment and say, this is a great section, but make it longer. All right. And we post that. So you can see that doesn't change the paragraph, change the text, but it adds this little comment here that when now when somebody else opens that up, they'll see that comment that I made in there and go, oh, okay, now I could edit that, in which case they could be able to change what they need to on there. You can also combine files. So we could add files to this. Let's say we want to add that picture as a whole nother attachment. Click on it there, click on continue, and you can add multiple ones in there as well. Now we have that one opened, and then all we want to do is we go down to Combine Files, Add Open Files. It's going to have all the ones that are open. Add Files, select all of those, and Combine. And now you can see you have your pages there, and then a whole other page, which is your included image. So you could combine multiple documents if you want to create that, and then when you save it, click up here and save it. You can choose where you want to save it onto, and it'll save it as a new document with everything all included in there. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this new AI assistant, which is kind of a neat element that's sort of built right into this now, that you can ask questions of it to really save yourself time. So let's say I just want to take everything that's in here and summarize this document, all right? So it's going to read through this document and it's going to give me a summary of what this is about, which is great if you have like a big report that somebody sends to you and you don't have time to read through it. You can get it to take that and summarize that. So it took this whole document, which is like three pages and summarized it, which is all the things that are featured in this report. Tell me more about this feature. Tell me more about that. You, so you can ask it additional questions. It gives you some suggestions here as well, or you could type in your own questions. So it's using AI to scan the document. All right, you can ask it specific questions here. So I want to know how many times does PDF appear? It appears 22 times in this document, right? So you can use AI to really help you go through documents. This is a fairly new feature that I haven't used a lot, but I think I'm definitely going to be using this, especially if you get like a, a long terms of service or contract to go, hey, summarize this for me. Give me the bullet points so that I know what I'm signing. Another thing that I think is really crucial is this protect a PDF. So you can click on protect a PDF. You can protect this document with a password, whether it be for viewing it or for editing it. And you can write the password that you want in here, and then you just gotta retype it, okay? And apply. So now, whenever somebody opens that up and wants to view it, they will be asked to enter that password in before they can proceed any further. You could also do that for editing and things like that. So you can really make a document very protected so that you don't have any leaks of information in there. And with that, you are using more of the tools in Adobe Acrobat. These are some of the key features that I use pretty often to help you use Adobe Acrobat like a pro. Hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.